So like I was saying, we actually used the interceptor to inject a bear token. That is a very bad use. Now I have a coworker. Um, I'm not gonna say anything bad about him because I, I, I'll just say I have more experience programming than him. I've developed, I've developed more systems. I've, you know, I've coded for a very long time, and I just, I just know things basically that I guess he hasn't been able to get to yet. Um, but there are, when you develop with as many languages or ecosystems that I, as I have, you like to pick out all the good bits, right? And then you want to leave out all the bad bits. And um, at our company, we have implemented a lot of things which I would consider bad bits. Um, so when I first came into the company, apparently uh, I, I was told that, uh, well, I had asked because we, you, we do utilize a language called TypeScript, which is, uh, which is TypeScript. Uh, strongly type, however you want to say it. <laughs> now, I asked, are we using, like, types? I asked, you know, and uh, the most I got was, yeah, you just, you just have to NPM install types. And I was like, okay, I guess. But that's not what I meant. What I meant was when we're passing arguments around data around, is there a strict, uh, is there strict typing that gets passed around along with that, you know? And no, there is, at least not to the degree that he's even mildly, ex you know, acceptable. <clears throat> Everything essentially is any. Everything is any. Oh, what type is this? Oh, it's any. Oh, this is an array. An array of what? Any. Oh, okay. But the array itself is any. The elements inside of it are any. So basically, you can literally pass anything around. Oh, it's so bad. It's so horrendously bad. find a package. Now, I went online and I tried every uh, suggested command, you know, install it again, install dash D, 
Uh, install it globally. Uh, yeah, same error. It, it just keeps showing up. And and I don't understand because I didn't touch anything inside of the file that is telling me that the error is occurring. I didn't touch it. I mean, after I got the error, I started poking in that file. But before that, I didn't even touch it. Which is very annoying. Very, very annoying. So now I can't even deploy my new backend. I can't deploy the new backend because of this this problem, this issue, which I didn't even cause. Oh. See, that's the problem with packages and everything. If you didn't implement it from scratch yourself, others updates to those packages basically can break your application. And then you guys might argue, why reinvent the wheel? Or why would you do it from scratch when someone already made it? Well, that's because of situations like this. Where where initially, you know, you, you, know, you thought, hey, I'll just grab this package and uh, everything will be okay. You know, you use it and it works, it's nice and everything. But a little down the line, you go to build your program and it doesn't work. Why? You didn't change anything. Oh, it turns out that there was an update. and it just completely broke your application. If you were to say implement it from scratch and the implementation is literally in your source code, nothing will break unless you broke it. And the best part is because you implemented it, you can edit it, you know how it works, you can change it so that it's fixed. Like, right there and then. Instead, what I have to do is I have to go online and Google. I have to be like, I don't, want, don't know why my shit's not working. Does someone have a suggestion? And like I said, I've tried several suggestions that didn't work. Now, the problem that I'm mentioning is this thing called formidable, right? And it's literally just an object that contains more objects. It's just nested objects. And it's constructed from the front end. The front end, like a website, for instance, uh, has a forum. Uh, from a form builder and then that form when it sends the data up right is then consumed by the back end and to uh, neatly manage that data on the back end you can throw it into uh, formidable right which is nice and all when it works, the other part I want to mention is this system is so simplistic. I don't see why someone had the need to make a whole package for it, you know. So, someone literally could have just did, oh, object inside of objects. Be done with that. But no, that isn't the case.
I guess I'll end my rant uh, for today. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not liking web development at all. I'm not liking it at all.